Hello everyone. So as I promised in the earlier video, uh, this video will teach you as to how you can create a thesaurus file in Wasweaver taking COVID analysis example. So I will be using the same um, file, uh, Scopus file that I have used for the previous analysis in the previous video. Uh, so here, let me choose the uh, uh, CSV file. It's uh, sustainable tourism uh, and click next. So reading Scopus file and so we are here. The type of analysis we are using is co-occurrences of all keywords using the full counting method. So this is the sort of the uh, uh, new technique that we are going to learn in this video was we were thesaurus file option. So before proceeding with this option, um, I will move forward to show you as to what are the keywords in this uh, in this particular analysis, right? So we have uh, taken use of uh, minimum number of uh, occurrences of a keyword as 10, uh, exactly same as in the previous video. And uh, when we do that, we've been left with 34 uh, keywords that meet the threshold. So these are the keywords that we have, right? So uh, I'm going to uh, get these keywords since everything is everything has got selected. You can see I'm going to export the selected keywords, right? So I'll be exporting it as test, sorry, test two file because I already have a test one file. So I'll, I'll cre create it as test to right export it it gets exported as the text option right now let me uh, show you what is there in our text uh, uh, file so this is the kind of the file that we get exported right so uh, you can see you have the id keyword occurrences uh, keyword occurrences and total link strength so now what i'm going to do i'm going to take a copy of this and uh, get an Excel uh, file open and paste these entries in the Excel file because it's easy for us to do the edits uh, using the Excel, right? So when I copy paste it, uh, so these are the entries that we had in the text file format. So for this uh, creation of thesaurus option, we don't need the total link strength sort of uh, information. We just need the keyword uh, I'm going to have it. So occurrences is also not required. So we're going to label the first row as label and replace by. So what these two entries mean is that what is the label and with which keyword you want to replace it with, right? So uh, let's carefully go through uh, when you are doing your analysis, please carefully go through your uh, keywords and see whether there are any keywords that gives the same meaning. In that case, we need to have the same sort of label for each of those keywords. So here we have Australasia, Australia, China, climate change, conceptual frameworks, decision making, developing world, eco tourism. So eco tourism, I'm going to light, environmental protection, governance, governance approach, heritage tourism, indigenous population, interpretation, local participation, and nature-based tourism. So um, maybe if you are a researcher on this uh, ecotourism uh, or nature-based tourism, maybe if you actually look at the literature, the difference, there might be little, little differences with regards to the actual definition of ecotourism and nature-based tourism. For the demonstration purposes, I'm going to have the assumption as to these two keywords is the same, right? It gives the same meaning, okay? So, uh, Perception, protect area, and uh, the rest of the uh, keywords doesn't give the uh, same meaning. Uh, so for the demonstration purposes, we'll just have the assumption as these two keywords give the same meaning. So sustainable tourism is there. I'm not going to get uh, it as uh, this, uh, a keyword that gives the same meaning as eco-tourism because sustainability is more of a broader concept. 
uh, it focuses on people profit and planet aspect whereas in nature based tourism and eco tourism it's mainly focusing on the planet uh, the the planet aspect the tour uh, nature aspect right so with that assumption in mind i'm going to add a new row here and what i'm going to do i'm going to ask was weaver look was weaver you need to look at this label nature based tourism and replace it with echo tourism right it's up to you to decide as to which label is going to get replaced by which uh, label if two keywords are there i got the assumption as to more uh, occurrences were there more frequently the echo tourism uh, word had been like uh, used rather than nature based tourism so i want the wasweaver software to replace nature based tourism with echo tourism uh, terminology so i'll be uh, deleting the rest of the entries right now what i'm going to do is that uh, i'm going to go to my uh, the test to file and i'm going to open another file or uh, and i'm going to hope you can see copy this right we can copy this and go to the notepad and save it right then we need to save this i will be saving this as new label right new label because i already have a label there so i'll be uh, saving this as new label okay now let us go back to our was we were so here we are now i'm going to go back so you can see we had like our initial analysis had 10 keywords which met like uh, the threshold was 34 right 34 keywords so we now we are going to uh, have the thesaurus file where we have asked was we were to look into the uh, keywords where this nature based uh, tourism sort of keyword is there and replace it with a core tourism so i'll be uploading the particular file so we this is the new label right now we'll go and here okay right okay now see uh so previously we had 34 keywords along with nature to uh, nature based tourism keyword now we have since we have asked was we were to do the sort of the merging along with eco tourism now we have only 33 uh, keywords that had met the threshold of 10 right i hope i am making the point clear uh, and let's go so here eco based eco tourism is there when you we will, when we look into the nature-based tourism it's not there right so we'll go one by one nature-based tourism is not there because it has got replaced that nature-based tourism uh, keyword has got replaced along with eco tourism and when we click on finish see now you can get the visualization it's uh, quite similar to uh, the earlier in in my earlier video analysis the kind of the uh, visualization covered analysis visualization i showed you uh, because only one keyword had got replaced with uh, uh, with uh, eco tourism keyword only nature based uh, tourism had got um, uh, it's it's not removed it has got into the eco tourism keyword so here right so uh, there are five clusters in this uh, uh, research domain. So this research domain, if you can remember, we were focusing on sustainable tourism related literature that had published, that had got published in Australia, uh, Australian context, right? So I hope I've made uh, a clear uh, demonstration on Boss uh, Weaver's, uh, how, how to use the Boss Weaver uh, thesaurus uh, file uh, using covert analysis uh, example so remember this particular option is not only limited to 
covert analysis. So when you are like performing co-citation analysis also, you can take use of the Vosweaver uh, thesaurus file option just in case if you file that the same citation has been repeated as well. So you can do a sort of like uh, label replaced by sort of a uh, technique to uh, have more accurate uh, analysis results, right? So uh, that's uh, it for today. So let's meet in another video. Thank you, everyone.